On the day in which Red Sox legend Jim Rice solidifies his status as a baseball immortal, achieving induction into the Hall of Fame, a future member of the Cooperstown Club takes the ball in Boston as John Smoltz opposes the Orioles. Smoltz, of course, will go into the Hall as a Brave, but padding that career resume as a Red Sox, and he's touched up early in the first. This is not going to win any beauty awards, but it'll get it done. Nick Markakis with a sack fly to score Brian Roberts. Birds in front one zip, and meanwhile, well, the O's play some D, and it comes from the Eminem man, Melvin Mora at third, ranging into foul territory to retire Kevin Euclid. Have another peek as Mora is going to first come in and then have to shoot backwards. Staying limber with yoga, I presume, and that'll do it for Euclid. Smoltz in trouble again, and again, it is Marcakis. This is a two-out RBI double to the wall in right center. It is now two-zip Orioles, and the inning not over. Now three-zip, same frame, tie, getting wiggy with it. Wigington, an RBI single. This will score Nolan Reimold. Four-zip Orioles. We are only in the third. Now five-zip in the fifth, and who else would it be? More Marcakis. He takes Smoltz deep. A 12th homer on the year, 6-zip Smoltz, goes only 5, allowing 6 runs on 9 hits. His counterpart, David Hernandez, strikes out George Kateris. Hernandez, 7 strong, 1 run on just 5 hits. And, well, the Baltimore bullpen finishes what he started. George Sherrill flies out Adam LaRoche to end it. As the O's avoid the sweep from Fenway, 6-2 your final. Hernandez earns his third win, Smoltz. A fourth loss, thanks in large part to Nick Marcakis. Two for four, three ribbies, two runs scored, and his 12th homer on the season.